Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you more about the ball flight laws of golf. Every good golf instructor says the ball doesn't lie, and this is why. So if you come in and look at this, I have two clubs set up here. I have one that's representing my club path, and one that's representing my club face. So there's actually nine different types of shots that I can hit with the combination of open, closed, and square. So as I move my path to the left for right-handed golfers and my club face stays square, I'm creating an X here. So the ball is always gonna take off 90 degrees to the club face and it's gonna go about the equal distance in relationship to this. So it's gonna start off on this path, this face path, and it's gonna curve off to the right in this scenario. This is what you would typically call a slice. I'm swinging from the outside to in with a square club face. That ball is starting straight and curving off to the right. Now the funny thing is, I bet a lot of you start to play your slice and then hit one completely straight. And you're like, why did that happen? So that actually happened because all of a sudden, one time, your hands closed and you've created straight straight going to the left. So this is what you call a pull, right? So my path is going left like it was before, but instead of a square club face, I've closed my club face to match the path. That ball is going dead left. And I bet a lot of you have hit that shot. I've hit that shot as well. The next type of shot you can hit is actually when you close your face too much. And this is a disastrous one. This is a snap hook or a pull hook. So this is an outside to in path with a closed club face. So that ball is starting left and turning even more left. This is probably the shot that professional golfers fear the most. And I bet a lot of people out there have hit it. So understanding what your club and your path are doing at impact is gonna help you understand how to fix this. Okay, so now we're gonna reset and go back to square square. So now I'm gonna manipulate the face instead of the path. So my path is staying straight. And if my face goes to the left, now the ball is starting off 90 degrees to my face and it's curving more to the left. This is what we would call a pull hook. It's a closed face pull hook, or as some pros call it, the double cross. Pretty dreaded, right? As my face starts to open here, now this is turning into a cut or a slice, depending on how open your face is. So that ball is starting 90 degrees to my face, so it's starting to the right of my target line, and it's curving farther to the right. As I move my path to the inside now, so my path is coming from the inside, my club face is square, okay? This is gonna cause a draw. So it's gonna start 90 degrees to my face. It's gonna turn about this much, so it's gonna curve to the left. That's gonna be a draw. As my face opens, so now this is a push. I have my path and my face both pointing to the right. That's the one you hit off to the right that goes dead straight. No curve in that one. As my club face starts to open, now I'm hitting a push cut. So now my face is open, the ball's starting here, and it's curving because this X that's created at impact, it's gonna curve this way. So that ball starts here, and it's gonna curve off to the right. That's a push cut. So there's nine different shot types that you can make here. So I'm gonna go through all these in a row again. So we have a straight pull, which is left, left path, left face. We have a pull hook. We have a pull hook, which is left path with even more left face. We have a pull cut, which is what you want to hit probably most often, which is a left path with a little bit open face compared to that path line. This is going to start a little bit left to your target and cut back to your target. This is one that I like to hit a lot and a lot of tour pros like to hit this shot. Then we have straight straight. So this is perfectly straight shot. This ball is going dead at the flag and not moving. As I close my club face, this is turning into a hook or a draw. It starts out on my target on my face line here and it's going to draw over here. 
if I open that face, that's gonna be a push cut. So now my face is open, ball starting 90 degrees. This is gonna cut away from my path line. And now I'm gonna go to my path to the right. So my path is to the right of the target. This is a straight push. Ball's not curving, starts off to the right. It's gonna stay dead on its line. The push draw, when I start to close my face a little bit, this is one that you want to hit if you're trying to curve it around the trees or if you like to hit a draw. So my path is coming from the inside. My face is pretty square to the target. It's gonna create a nice right to left movement. It's also gonna close the club face down, so it's gonna go a little bit lower, more penetrating ball flight. And then as this face gets open, this is the dreaded push slice, where my path is going inside to out, my club face is open, that ball is starting right and going right. If you understand these ball flight laws and you see what your ball is doing, so I'm, I, if I see my ball is starting to the left and it's turning back to the right, that means that my path, that my face is square to where that started, so it's square to the left, and my path is going farther left and that's causing it to turn back to the right. Remember, the ball will always curve in the opposite of your path compared to your face angle. So as you're hitting balls, understand the ball flight laws and you can really know what's going on at impact and that's gonna help you understand how to fix your swing. Because what we're trying to do as teaching professionals is get you to be able to self-diagnose. I don't want you to have to come to me every single time for an hour lesson just because you're hitting it a little bit weird or you're hitting some pull hooks. So I know if I'm up here hitting pull hooks, then my path is going to the left and my club face is closed in comparison to that path. So that ball is starting on my club face and it's turning even more to the left. So think about those ball flight laws, understand them, we'll continue to make videos on them because if you're confused by the way that I said it this time, I'm gonna say the same thing over and over and over again until you find something that clicks. But these ball flight laws, this is physics, right? This is gonna happen no matter what. The ball's always gonna come off 90 degrees to that club face unless you shank it. And the ball is always gonna move in the opposite direction of the path compared to the club face. So again, understand those, understand your golf game, and it becomes a lot easier to fix on the golf course. I don't usually recommend fixing during a round, but I know a lot of you do it. So if you understand I'm hitting a pull cut today, you understand what your path is doing and what your face is doing. It's gonna make golf a lot more fun and you're not gonna to need to spend as much money on lessons.